Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? So this is absolutely amazing. I am so excited, so excited to be here today. We're going to be talking about stress. And why am I so excited? Because a lot of folks are asking me um, what exactly I do and how they can help themselves in managing stress. And one of the things I've been sharing, if you are not a member of the Daily Gratitude, which is one of my private groups, by all means, please join right here. Go find and request to be part of the Daily Gratitude on Facebook, which is my Daily Gratitude every single day. Plus, why am I talking about stress? Because it's so stressful and I'm going to share with you what happened. What happened was if you have not been wanting to make travels and everything lately, I don't know who you go to if you have a travel agent, if anybody still uses travel agents. Uh, I don't know. Do you use a travel agent still? Or do you do everything online and booking online and trusting this incredible uh, machine that we call um, online booking, right? And there are so many choices from Expedia, from um, all this travel agencies online. I call it Expedia because I used to book on Expedia and I did just a few days ago because of a flight and an arrangement and then I saw something that it was not driving and then I wanted to change it so the reason I'm saying is I too go through stress I too get stressed and what is it that I do when I become harried when I get flustered and I so a lot of people call when they are depressed or something like that I said, what is another word you can use that describes what you are feeling? If it is not, if it is stress related, but it is not stress. And because we can dismantle stress, where stress comes and how we react to stress, it's a whole different thing, right? So you can be in traffic and you can be stressed. You can make travel arrangements and it's not going your way. You feel stressed. <laughs> so you can be pulling your hair. And by gosh, I was stressed because I overbooked. I double booked. And then I thought I double booked. But then when I was looking and the cancellations from the first one that they told me that the arrangements were made, it was not. And I was like, Ah, and at that very moment, I remembered my own tools and techniques, right? So when I say about heel talk, when I say, and I teach and I guide my clients into giving them tools and techniques, I went, ah, what is the first tool and technique that I can use to de-stress? So at the, in the midst of all this, Literally, in the midst of all the commotion of worrying and even having a hard time going to sleep, while I was not being able to sleep and I was tossing and turning, tossing and turning, thinking that uh, I've been hacked, my computer has been hacked because of, you know, I saw things that were happening on the credit card and it was like, this is not supposed to be. So not understanding online uh, bookings and everything, which was me educating myself more. At the moment that I saw myself tossing and turning and I couldn't sleep, at that very moment I said, <gasps> enough. Literally stopped myself and I said, enough. Why? Because it was almost three o'clock in the morning and I was worried, right? So at that moment, instead of stressing over something I could not fix, 
until a daylight time, until business hours, I said, okay, turn around, go to sleep, shut down until 7.30. So for three hours, I went into deep sleep, not because my body was uh, my body was already tired and everything, but the stress of being stressed, stressing over my stress was already too much. So one of the techniques you too can use is when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel you're under such duress and stress, at that very moment you can just, okay, you can clap, you can snap, and you say, snap out of it, stop pause and put it like compartmentalize it put it in a drawer put it in a box for three hours or four hours and you turn around you go to sleep or you get to what you are supposed to do until you come back to what you need to do and like fully aware fully awake or you t uh, come to um, tend to the next task and then come back to this task with a brighter and fresher ideas or more, much calmer. When we step back into our, how do I say it, our power with a clearer mind and more collected and calmer, we see everything drop into its place. So number one thing, when you feel stressed and you feel this kind of an anxiety coming upon you and you feel yourself going a downward spiral, all right, that's when you must put a stop sign. Just put a stop sign. And if you knew Staples used to have that button and just put, push that button, it's like stop, pause, and at that very moment, Pause yourself, take a step back, sit, sleep, whatever, and come back to your task again. Second thing, I put it in my daily gratitude today of how we are grateful for each and every moment. And when we unravel and let go of the stress or all that energy, combustion, energy, negativity, when stress overwhelms overwhelms it becomes such hard right and when it's dense when it's hard when it's negative it's heavy what happens it's like we start walking like that our body starts becoming that so we carry the stress inside our body and our body becomes like this and when you do it for a few hours when you do it for a few hours and days and weeks, not realizing you're holding on so much, right? It's got to give. So, how do you de-stress? What is your technique to letting go? The easy button, I have to get one again. Yes, I don't know if it's still around or not, but I would love to create a bit easy button and you know one of the things I like to talk about is the book that I have heal thy mind body so my tagline is imagination with intention guides you to a healthier self so healing within that's why the name heal within came when we say heal within when we start giving much appreciation calmness and instead of this hardship and uh, denseness and negative energy we hold ourselves constantly upset right if you start remembering something at that very moment you snap out of it and you come up with one good image and it doesn't matter if that good image is from the time that you were young or something right in front of you Maybe a picture, a loving picture, a picture of your pet, a picture of your child, your grandchild, a picture that, a oh, beautiful tree that blossoms, right? Or flowers, it's springtime. You know, 
103 103.5 uh, coast uh, 104.3 <laughs> I forget the numbers every single day they have this question of the day that they ask and today the question of the day was how do you know it's spring you know not only the question matters but also when it says how do you know when it's springtime give us a call let us know here's my question to you how do you know when it's spring for you what makes you smile what is a good memory the same way as i say put something that brightens your day when you look at it or when you listen to it right so two days ago sitting and having breakfast with my mom we're talking and then i was going through my emails and then i put youtube and my mom asked me a question and about a flower of what spring flowers and to me my flowers being tulip and i came up with this tulip not only i said the word tulip but also the image of tulip having tulips in my office brightens my day different colors brighten my day so i want you to find something and then we said the word goleach and then it was like what was goleach what is in farsi it's the name of a flower and when goleach it's the flower of ice and i don't i have to check it and see what it is in english but the moment we said that word i remembered a song and that song just thinking about goleach I YouTubed it and I remembered that song and I started singing that song and it took me all the way to when I was very young back at another time and a place so do you realize that one word one image can take you this to this beautiful place where you want to be no matter how stressed you are how angry you are how depressed you may be feeling how life is really not going your way but there was always something good that you can just bring it to this very moment and when we think about heal thy mind and body is remembering that your body knows how to heal itself your body knows how to mend because when you have a cut on your finger or when you have a broken and you put it in a cast or you put a band-aid on your finger you know what happens you kiss it makes it well you kiss the finger of your child or when your pet is hurt or when your loved one what you do is you hold it you love it you cherish it you pamper it you kiss it and just not only the saliva but your touch tending to it being attentive and that care tells the body i care and the body starts the healing process you know in hypnosis in hypnotherapy what we do is help you find that inner peace inner joy because it's not from the outside it's from within you healing is from within you distressing letting go of the stress that it was either push your buttons we can push it out of order and everything that is from the external let it let it go put it in a compartment put it in a drawer and close the drawer just for a moment just for a while just for today and realize that you become more in control that you take things into your hand in the palm of your hand and you take things and you tend to it 
even the healing within when we say heal die your die your mind and body and I mentioned Louise Hay because she healed her cancer and then went on by not only creating this magnificent self-help industry publishing but doing all kinds of speaking and the books heal die your mind body right and you can check it you can see that every aspect that you have within your body may correlate with an intention when I do my daily gratitudes, it's reminding you to be grateful, to be thankful of your body, every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue, every cell, every molecule in your body is alive. And it can hear it. It can feel it. And when you kiss it, it feels your own self-care. And that's exactly how I healed within. The name of my business came because I healed within myself. And you know my story. That I went from healing my ovarian cyst through hypnotherapy. The finding the power of hypnosis, delving deeper and deeper and deeper into the subconscious mind. And realizing all that, all the answers were within my body can heal if I only give it permission to. So what I do is I, I also safeguard my clients and support my clients to find and realize the stressors from the outside that they've been holding on to. Perhaps you too have been doing the same. That you can let it go. You can de-stress. You can unravel. You can let it go. You can undo. As a matter of fact, if you type hashtag three, I'm going to pick one person this afternoon and one person is going to be the winner of one of my gifts. And I will send a PDF to you so you can have the PDF version of Heal Thy Mind Body, where it's got different techniques. I have so many techniques, so many tools from emotional eating, letting go, laughter, how to being happy, knowing it's a state of mind, and how to have certain techniques and things you can do just to get on that beautiful bicycle and remember. You know why? So many of us know how to ride on a bicycle and then when we don't practice it we think we forget it but the moment you get on that bicycle you know what happens muscle memory you remember the good times and how when you get on a bike and you start pedaling away first you may wiggle and then you remember as a child from tricycle to bicycle once we learn how to pedal and go we welcome the wind against our face against our skin against and we just want to be one and at that very moment nothing matters except the journey you are taking and that's exactly what heal within is i help my clients journey within so hashtag three i'll be doing a drawing and i'll even announce who is the winner next week and say thank you if you do a hashtag number three and just let me know and i'll do the drawing help you de-stress send it to you via email and realize that no matter where you are in life number one when you feel stressed, pause, become aware, and then give yourself for a certain timeline to let go or compartmentalize it and deal with it at another time and a place. And you come back to it fresh, clear, and more subtle. Number two, 
that at any time, remembering that your body can heal from within. Self-healing is possible. And there are times that we do need to go and have either our mind doing, talk to a coach, talk to a therapist, talk to a, uh, a referee, right? Or sometimes you can even go and sit uh, in silence, meditation, which is talking to the higher self, your inner self, and realizing that when you give yourself that me time, that self-healing begins. And lastly, sign up for the gift. I will be gifting you and gifting you so you can do your own self-healing and de-stressing in the comfort of your home. All over, remember, stress is from the outside. It's all how you react to it. And once you learn how to manage it, once you have the tools and the techniques, even pushing that um, easy button, it becomes easier and it becomes effortless for you to manage and be more centered, grounded, and more loving because you are and you do matter. So thank you for being a part of Heal Talk today. And it's Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist. And as always, your journey begins right here. Until next week, God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. And if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click 